Welcome to the evening psalm. Psalm 73 is quite a long psalm, so please bear with me. Jim Cotter entitles this, Perplexity Unresolved but Transformed. And the refrain is, let us delve the deepest questions, living their mystery. Sometimes we're reluctant to do that. That's me speaking, not Jim Cotter. So Psalm 73. To the loyal and loving and faithful, God indeed is pure goodness. And yet I was losing my foothold, slipping and slithering from faith. For I was envious of the boast of sinners. Without God they were entirely content. They suffer no pains that I can see. They look ever so healthy and sleek. They never seem plunged into grief, never harassed or thrown off course. Pride is the signet ring on their finger. Craving for power fits them like a glove. Their eyes gleam through folds of fat, mirror of their empty minds. Their faces ooze malice and greed. Their hearts brim over with the basest of thoughts, with mocking laughter and cynical scorn, overwhelming with menace and threats. Their slanders are raised against the heaven. Their tongues ply to and fro on the earth. Of course they carry the mob with them, lapping up their words like cheap wine. What has God to do with us? Are you still there? Do you take any notice? They go their godless way with a will. Untroubled, they go ever more wealthy. Why did I keep faith with you? Why did I keep my conscience alert? Every day is a punishment to me. Every morning I wake feeling beaten. Let us delve the deepest questions living their mystery. I've often thought, do like those others. But then I would have betrayed the body of Christ. I would have denied the faith of my ancestors. So I was tossed backwards and forwards, perplexed, desperate, baffled by it all. Then I turned to worship you, O God, and I pierced the heart of the mystery. I began to see you with a sword in your side, I began to see life in the light of your future. The life of the unheeding totters on quicksand, keeling over and falling to ruin. They are in one fell moment destroyed. They are living in the shadow of nightmares, evil dreams that haunt in the morning, dreams that are suddenly ended as they fall to their doom, unmourned and forgotten. Yes, the struggle for faith has cost me dear. Like Jacob, I limp in the sunrise. With a heart's blood alone is victory wrought, the peace of the whole of my being. You have embraced me in the ocean waste, a, wing whose, a bird whose wings are trapped in black oil. You weave all my doubts and distress to a pattern of dancing joy. It was a bitter heart that made me rebellious. I was hurt in the depth of my being. Distraught, I hammered away at you. Deranged, I vented my fury. Nevertheless, you absorbed my rage. You embraced and held me, drawing the po poison out of my heart, giving me rest and deep peace. Let us delve the deepest questions, living their mystery. I do not see you, yet do I trust in you. No wisdom or strength dare I claim as my own, yet still you uphold me and receive me in glory. Though my flesh is falling apart, though my heart is strained to breaking, though my bones ache in the winter, though my blood runs thin in my veins, nevertheless, still you are God. You are the future that waits for me. How this can be is hidden from me. You are the mystery giving no answers, yet I look to no one else in the universe. With you I am well content. Those who abandon you are doomed. To break faith with you is to be lost. The joy lies in drawing closer to God, to the suffering, the mystery, the terrible love. In you I believe that all shall be well. So I will speak of your name and your ways. Not with a shouting that covers my doubts, but with a whisper sounding the depths of enduring. Let us delve the deepest questions, living their mystery.
So let's pray. And yes, the questions trouble us still, perplexing God. And will do to the end of our days. Is there no way the pride of the powerful can be punctured? Can we not learn to share the good things of the earth? Do we not collude with those who are unjust? Do we not compensate too glibly with the promise of good things after death? Nevertheless, nevertheless. So in the midst of our questions, deepen our trust. In the midst of our trust, keep our questions alive. Cleanse the eye of our perception and purify our hearts that we may will one thing, that your way indeed be followed through and beyond the perplexities we cannot escape. Glorify your name, O God, and justify your ways. So may God grant us a quiet night so that we may wake in the morning glorifying God. Amen.